Hey guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV, where I have a doggy DIY video for you today. Our mini poodle Gaston has lots of lovely little overalls, and most of them I've actually made from thrifted baby onesies. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to do that for your dog. And before we get started, I just want to mention that there are many reasons why us dog parents may choose to on occasion put clothing on our fur babies. For us, there are three main reasons. Number one, we live in Sweden where the weather varies a lot, which means it sometimes gets freezing and even furry little cuties like us don't get cold when going outside when the temperature drops. Small dogs do get cold easier. Number two, it also gets wet and snowy outside and my dog will be a wet mess if he's not wearing clothing in weather like that. Also, because he has curly fur, snow sticks to him like glue, so if he's playing in the snow without clothes on, he will morph into a full-blown snowman within a couple of minutes. Balls of ice hanging from his fur, not very comfy. Number three, it of course also can get really dirty outside, especially if you like walking your dog in the woods. And it's not good to bathe your dog too often, so it's just easier to throw a muddy onesie in the laundry instead of giving your dog way too many baths. Gaston also tends to pee standing on just his front paws, which means that he sometimes pisses all over himself. And again, a onesie will keep that pee from ending up in his fur. So our dog sometimes wears clothing to help him stay warm, dry, and clean, plain and simple. There are other reasons for dogs wearing clothing as well, for instance because of skin conditions like eczema. Gaston doesn't have that though. Buying pre-made pet clothing can get pretty pricey, but for small dogs like Gaston, the solution is easy. I simply go to the local thrift store and buy baby onesies, really cheap. The two I'm showing you in today's video I purchased for 20 Swedish krona each. They are soft and made with a thin cotton fabric. For the really cold days, Gaston has warmer onesies though, made from thicker fabric. And there are many different types of onesies, some with zippers, some with buttons, some with hoodies, and so on. Just find what works for you. And with zippers, just be careful not to zip it up into your dog's fur. There are only two steps in adapting a baby onesie for your dog. The first step is cutting a hole for the butt and crotch so that the tail is free and there is room to pee and poop. I start by trying the onesie on to see where the hole will need to go. Since I've done this many times before, I don't need to mark anything out nowadays, but the first times I did it, I marked the start and finish of the hole while my dog was wearing the onesie, so that I knew where to cut once it was taken off. Cotton fabrics like this will not open up, so I don't need to hem the edges of the hole I cut, I literally just need to cut it. After that, I need to adjust the waist of the onesie, starting by turning the onesie inside out. Gaston is a skinny dog, so I have to take the onesies in quite a bit. If the fit is too loose, he will end up peeing inside the onesie once he's wearing it, and that is not fun. Again, because I have done this before, I don't need to measure, but when doing this for the first time, measure your dog's waist and pin accordingly. Then all I have to do is sew along the two pin lines, cut the excess fabric off, flip the onesie back the correct way, and voila, instant doggy overalls. If you have any questions about the project, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and as always, do no harm, but take no shit. I'll see you next time.